Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to the shop. Today we are going to be making a bull adds. This is a head that I purchased a while ago and I've been wanting to make the handle for it because I want to do some bull work with an adds. Let's dive in. I purchased this bull ads on Etsy from a guy in Germany, I believe it was, and uh, I've been wanting to get it for a while. It took a while to get here, but I got it, and I'm very, very happy with it. It is a, uh, a hand-forged head. Uh, it's an older one that the, the last person who owned it uh, did a good bit of work on it that wasn't quite right. So I'm going to sharpen it close to where it should be sharpened. I'm not going to hone it down completely because uh, I want to do some work on it still. And uh, if I hone it down, I'm, I'm just going to ruin that between now and the end. So we're going to go through all my stones and then strop it using the inside and the outside. Um, a good adds, a bull adds, actually has a bevel on both the inside and the outside. So you need to make sure you're doing both of them all the way uh, rather than having a flat on one side and not on the other. So now we can protect it and get to working on making a handle for it and hanging the handle. Yay! This is white oak, of course. What else would I make it with? Um, I know there's going to be a lot of people out there who are very mad that I do it out of white oak rather than something more traditional such as ash um, or hickory. Uh, but it, with a small handle like this, it really doesn't make much difference. You can make it out of uh, pretty much any hardwood. I'm just going for a shape that is about what I want. There really is no right or wrong shape for a bull adds. They tend to have a lot shorter handle than you expect. Um, so once I lay it out and draw it out, then we can start chopping it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of a lot of the, uh, the material uh, just by using a hatchet to break it out. <laughs> this, is, this is one of these steps where, you know, hatchet and adds works. It's not something I've had a whole lot of work with, and I, it's one of the things I need to do a little bit better. Uh, it would actually help if this hatchet were sharper, um, but I was crunched on time for this, and uh, yeah, I probably should have t still taken the time and sharpened it. But we're going to take off most of the material that way, and then here you can see just how dull this thing actually is. We're going to remove a good chunk of the material and chips out this way, and this will get us close to our shape. Um, because some of the shape is actually an inside curve and fairly steep, um, I found it easier to then come in and saw down to depth and chisel out the waste. Um, I know some people really don't like this method, but I find it to be very fast and very efficient. Uh, and so I, I like cutting down to the line, and the line is actually on the other side of the board. And then you just come in with a chisel and pop out these pieces. It goes incredibly fast, and uh, you get close to your line very, very quickly. And so this is this is a method that I like using um, as, as often as I can most of the time. So now we have a very, very rough shape on this. We need to outline where the head will be. Place it on there and mark around. This one is actually pretty close to circular, so it's, it's not going to be straight on. Um, I had a clip of cutting in the shoulder all the way around, uh, but apparently lost it in the editing. So I'm going to cut in around the, the shoulder and then come into that line and shave it back right to that line. And I'm just going to occasionally check it with the head and make sure I'm where I want it to be. I just want to stay away from the line as long as possible. Once I get it down close to where I want it to be, I'm going to try and pound the head on and that will actually mark the top of it with exactly where it is, not just where the marker is, but that will, uh, will budge off some corners so that I can get it down there. I'm going to use a set of uh, rasps and files to bring it down into, I use the, uh, the Japanese file to bring it very roughly and quickly. Uh, I don't like it as well for the fine work, but this does a very, very good job of taking it off. You can see how I put the head on and then I'll take off material where it hits and then I'll put the head on again and take off material where it hits and I'll keep on going down until I get the black marks going all the way down the surface. And then we can actually um, make sure it fits on all the way. Uh, with this one, I actually want to leave it a little bit loose because I'm going to be putting in a very large wedge. So I'm going to pound it on and then take it off. And now that I know that the head will work, now we can actually work on the, the handle. And so I'm going to be using a bunch of different tools. Uh, I'm using the spoke shave. I'm going to be using rasps and files. Uh, I'm going to be going at this with all sorts of things. Usually my, my rough shaping is done with the rasp. I want to come in and remove a lot of material. This is a, a flare on the end that will hold the palm. And I want to create a doe foot on the end of that. And that is actually creating this little chamfer that runs around to meet the flare. 
Again, we're going to come at it with the rasp and uh, get the, the rough shape we want. And then I can come in with the spoke shave and really detail it. And this round spoke shave really shines here because I can get into any of these curves. And right, occasionally I'll just hold it and make sure it's what I'm looking for. Go back at it and hold it and make sure it's what I'm looking for. Here back on the shoulder, we're going to then pair in. And I want to bring this up tight so when the head comes down, it's still sitting on a slight shoulder. Um, but it doesn't have this big broad thing right underneath. It just looks a lot better that way. And then I can shape the top of the handle in to file in with where the hand holds all the way into where the head is. And I want this slight flare out where the head is, so it takes a little bit, uh, a little bit of time to, to shape that out right. The forehand hand is a great tool to use. You can actually use flat and round and has the gr aggressive rasp as well as the fine. And then to ferret out, I bring in the rough sandpaper on a bow sander. And then for the final smoothing, we use a card scraper, which really smooths it out nice like. So now we can actually hang the head and get it in there. Nice, tight fit, requires a good bit of pounding. Drive it down in. We want to make sure that it is straight. Uh, in this case, it wasn't quite straight, so a few taps to turn it slightly because the head isn't um, elongated. It's ever so slightly round. You tap the heel, and that will then drive the head on all the way down to the shoulder. And there you have it. It is hung. Now we want to put in a wedge, and I had this round wedge. Normally I split it and, and put in a straight wedge both ways, but this round wedge actually works really well. So I can set it down on there, tap it down in, and there you go. We have a head that will not come off. Oh, 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 now it is time for the happiness. Boiled linseed oil. Yes, um, there are a few things that I like as much as homemade boiled linseed oil on white oak. It just brings out all of the character and texture in the wood and is very, very, very pleasing. You also notice that the handle isn't perfectly symmetrical and round. It's actually offset one way or the other so that my right hand fits it. Um, so where my pinky wraps around, it's lowered it a little bit more. Where my thumb wraps around, it's lowered a little bit more there. So it actually has a good fit to my hand. And that's pretty much the ads. We can take the tape off and take it for a test drive. Uh, oh yes, I need to put Don paste wax. So we do the boiled linseed oil, several coats, and let it until it stops soaking that in. And then I'll put the paste wax on, let it um, set on until it hardens up a bit, and then wipe it off and polish it. And here is a chunk of stump that I've had uh, in the shop. I don't know what I would want to do with it, but it would make a good chance to to do this. Now I'm also probably going to want to make a uh, a bowl carving uh, bench here soon. This would make this a lot easier rather than laying, laying here. You can see it's still pretty dull. I need to do some more uh, uh, some more work on it to really true it up, but we'll be doing that later when we actually get to using it. So looking forward to making some things with this. Hope you liked it. Happy! There you have it, a bowl adds. This is intended for doing most of the work on a bowl, cleaning it out. And with a skilled hand, this does incredible work. Uh, you can get someone who gets almost a, a perfectly clean finish with an adds. I still have some more work doing honing this before I actually get into it, but I've got a couple blanks that I want to do some bowls with. So we'll probably see a video of that coming up sometime in the next year or so. So this has been a lot of fun to kind of play with and experiment with how it, uh, how it feels. I'm really looking forward to actually using it. If you have any questions or ideas, let me know those down below. I'd love to hear your ideas, what I should do differently. There are lots of different ways to make handles um, and, and make them fit the design and shape. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing your comments on that. I do read through all of them and I get a lot of ideas for future projects on that. So if you did like the video, please hit the like, subscribe, ring the bell, all those things to help out the channel. As well as I want to say a huge thank you to everyone scrolling over here on the side. They are patrons on Patreon uh, who are really helping this make happen. Also want to say a huge thank you to all the members, people who have clicked that join button. Without all of you, this channel would not exist. Uh, we really are funded, funded by you guys. I don't have sponsors and, and people paying money to keep this video going so I can actually say what I want. Uh, you are helping make that happen, so thank you. If you'd like to keep that coming, think about helping us out. And I think that'll do it for today. Until next time, have a wonderful day. I'm going to have to add this to my collection.